Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics, happy to see you here. Really interesting problem today, we need to find square root of 5. On the internet a lot, a lot of approaches, how can we find it, but I want to show you a real quick my method, how I like to do this. So first of all we can write this square root of i, I write it right here. So square root of i equal to i to the power 1 half. We can write it because you then this way, we can write it. But why this is good for us, because I want to show you a really good trick, take a look closely. We can write this one half power as i square not to the power one half but to the power one fourth. So I hope you understand this step. Because this is correct, take a look. If we have i to the power two times one fourth, if you multiply it, because this is a power property, we will have i to the power one half, which is completely the same as right here in the beginning. So nothing changed for us. This this way is good. But we all know that i square equal to minus 1. So we can easily write it as minus 1 to the power 1 fourth. Minus 1 to the power 1 fourth. And I want to show you a real good way how can you write it. If you know a, a little bit about higher mathematics, we can easily write this one as cosine pi plus i times sine times sine pi. And of course to the power 1 fourth. So why this is good for us? Because if we use right here a Mouvier theorem, so if we use right here a Mouvier theorem, we will have a really interesting, really interesting answer. We will have that we will have cosine pi over four because right here we need to multiply it by this power, and we need to add i sine pi over four as well. So right now we can easily find our our real and imaginary part. Take a look closely. So the value of real part will be cosine pi over 4, which signals us that real part will be equal to 1 over square root of 2. And sine pi over 4 is equal as well as imaginary, imaginary part. Sine pi over 4 is equal to 1 over square root of 2 as well. So as you can see, real part, 1 over square root of 2, and 1 over square root of 2 as well, our imaginary part. So we can write our answer, we all know real and imaginary part. So square root of i equal to real part 1 over square root of 2, and plus imaginary part i times 1 over square root of 2. And this is our, our answer. There are a lot of approaches, how can we solve it on the internet, a lot, of, a lot of approaches. I want to show you this one, what do you think about this? Write a question in the comment, write a suggestion in the comment, and thank you so much for watching, see you in the next videos.